So the question that I have here, it says a simplified diagram of an electrical machine is shown below. I can see the diagram that we are given and all the compartments that it has. 9.1.1 says, is this machine a DC motor or a DC generator? Remember, direct current motor or generator. Does it convert electrical energy to mechanical energy or mechanical energy to electrical energy? And for 9.1.1, this is then a DC motor. So look at our next question. 9.1.2 says, write down the energy conversion. Energy conversion, what actually takes place as to operate this machine? So in a DC motor, 9.1.2, it's electrical energy. Electrical energy, which is converted into mechanical energy. into mechanical energy. Oopsie daisy, there we are. Let's look at our next question. Number 9.1.3 says, write down the name of compartment number A. Number A is showing me that this is split ring commutators where generator will have slip ring, slip ring. So this one, 9.1.3 will be split ring commutators. Split ring commutator, that is what makes the difference between the two machines. Commutator. This was actually an easy topic. Let me look at number 9.1.4. In which direction will the coil, the coil is the one represented here, shown in the diagram above, rotate, will choose from clockwise or anti-clockwise. This coil will rotate anti-clockwise, so it will ro rotate in the other direction or in the other way on how a clock will rotate. This is 9.1.4. This is anti-clockwise. Please stick with the terminology that the examiner wants you to use. Do not use any other thing that the examiner hasn't included. This was actually a very nice, easy-flowing question. So number 9.2, an electrical device is marked 200 watt with 220 volts. Number 9.2.1 says, define the term RMS voltage. Start there. So 9.2.1, RMS voltage, an AC potential. Let me keep this as a capital letter is what the sheet has kept it, just for argument's sake. Potential difference. A difference that produces the same amount. The same amount of electrical energy. same amount of electrical energy as an equivalent and that is DC which is direct current potential difference remember a definition must always be the same so an AC potential difference that produces the same amount of electrical energy as an equivalent DC potential difference So 9.2.2, we must calculate the resistance of the device. We must calculate the resistance of the device. I'm given 200 watts and 220 volts. So always remember, you must always use what you're given, which will just make it much more easier. Let me go to a new slide. So for 9.2.2, finding the resistance, this is a formula you can find on your formula sheet. So I'm going to say power, average power, power average is the RMS, and remember that is squared all over R. I am looking for R. I'm given my power, which is 200 watt. I'm given my VRMS, which is 220 squared. I'm looking for R. Now I need to solve for R. Fraction, whole number, I'm going to put this over 1, and then I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to have 220 squared is equal to 200 R. 
Looking for R by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 200. This and this will cancel. I'm going to put it exactly as it is on the form on the calculator. So this is two two zero. I'm going to square that. Ooh, put it an extra one there. So this is two two zero, and I need to square that. Try that again. Fraction two two and a zero. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my calculator, but it keeps skipping two two zero. There we are. Let's square that. And at the bottom, I need to divided by 200 and I get 242 242 and the SI unit for resistance is then that funny looking symbol which we call ohms there we are let me read the next question so we've done we calculated the resistance of the motor now this device is now connected to a 150 volt AC source. Now it says we need to calculate the energy dissipated by the device in 10 minutes. So now we're looking for the energy dissipated. So let's see what we're gonna do. Always use a formula. This is another formula that you're gonna find on your formula sheet. There's more than one ways of doing it. You can choose anyway. I've decided to split it in two. So I know I'm given the power or the average power I know I'm given the VRMS and I am given my IRMS. My power is given to me as 200. VRMS is 150. And I'm going to find my current first. To find my current, I'm going to divide both sides with what's bothering my eye, which is 150. What you do on the one side, you have to do on the other side. 150 divided by 150 is 1. 1 times I remains I. Remember, I is my current. Therefore, I'm going to have 200, and at the bottom, I'm going to have 150. So I get a current of 1.33 ongoing. I'm going to leave it to two decimal places, 1.33, and current is measured in amperes. The question did want power or want energy, so I'm going to say my capital W is V, I, and delta T. They did say the energy is in 10 minutes. My I or my V is 150. The current I have is what I just calculated. Remember, if your current is wrong, just plug it in. You will get compensated for that. It said 10 minutes, but remember, we always work with seconds. Converting minutes to seconds, I'm going to multiply that by 60. Then I'm going to put everything exactly as it is on the calculator. So I'm going to have 150. I love putting brackets through everything. It just makes it much more easier. And then you have 10 times 60. Close my bracket. And then I get a very, very, very big number. I get 1197700. One, so I get 119700. One, and energy is then measured in a capital J, which is then for joules. So this is how you would answer everything about motors and generators. Remember, guys, if you can use the Tenfold Education app after you've done generators and motors with your teacher, you can go through three, four past papers on the app that can actually make sure that you understand how the exams are going to be asked. Do that with each and every question, and that will prepare you for, for your final paper.